Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a triple counter team. I saw this team on Kiang's channel and I kinda want to try it out and see if it's actually still decent in the current meta. So let's take a look, fact check if this team actually can do something here and we're gonna have a me an amazing lead immediately here. Like Regis has nowhere to go really on this team. And what we're going to do here is we're going to wait until they throw, let them throw and swap out afterwards because here for a triple counter team, Deoxys defense is very important. As I saw like through their gameplay and also looked like through other gameplays basically, with this kind of team. I saw that they used mainly the Polyrath as a safe swap and not the Vigoroth, which I find kind of interesting because back in the day at least you were using Obstagoon in the back and the Vigoroth as a safe swap, but apparently now the Polyrath is a better safe swap in the current meta, which I definitely see as well, so I think it's the right call. But um, yeah, we're going to be able to go for another charge move here. The Scald is coming through. It's going to do a ton of damage against the Greninja. And they're even going to go down here. Now it's going to be a Reggie steal against the entire team, basically, based on counter users, which is definitely an easy win for us. And we can now already take this first victory and move on to the next one. But we were very lucky with this matchup because the opponent had two Pokemon that were weak to counter and not every Pokemon is weak to counter. As you can see on the secondary matchup, we're going to have the Dragonite in the lead. And here's exactly how you kind of want to play it out. You kind of want to go for the Deoxys swap in. He decided to go for the Vigoroth as a safe swap mainly because um, you're going to be able to outspeed the Dragonite with it. But here the opponent swaps out into their Deoxys anyway. It would have been a little bit better to go into the Polyrath then instead. But we can still go for some Body Slam spam, which is going to be kind of handy as we can even get to another Body Slam afterwards, unless the opponent wants to throw as far as I can see this here. And the opponent does not want to throw, so I can go for another Body Slam, which is going to be amazing. They had 100 energy, but I can go for the counter down with my own Deoxys. Let this first move go through, it's going to be the Thunderbolt. They might still get to the Psycho Boost, but no, they're going to go down before. And sadly, they're going to have a Mew in the back, which is a core breaker for the two Pokemon that I have left. If I still had my Vigoroth now in the back, I still would have been fine because I double resist the fast move of the opponent but here they're going to have the super effective wild charge against me and there is not a lot that I can really do about this so yeah like we're going to be able to take this move the opponent going to swap out into the Dragonite and this game is over with this one because the Oxus cannot take a Dragon Claw and we can move on to the next one. I guess if I stick to like the plan there and go for the Polyrath as a safe swap over the um, Vigoroth, I would have been fine. But of course, like this team is not really meant to deal with something like a Mew. Mew is something that's pretty rare nowadays. Great play by the next opponent here. We're going to see the swap into the um, yeah Quagsire, which was a smart idea. I can still go for the Psycho Boost though, which is going to be okay for me. And I can decide to swap out now into my Polyrath afterwards. I got the shield advantage, which is amazing here for me as the opponent can go for the Mud Bomb spam here, which is going to be a little bit of a trickier one because we are not gonna survive too, so we're going to be forced to use a shield here against the opponent. And I was hoping that I can farm them all the way down, but I can actually do that, so that's going to be great for me. I have a ton of energy now, and even if the opponent goes back into their Skarmory, I still have to take a Scald. And I think for me it's actually worth it to use a shield here as well, because they just basically got there, but I don't use a shield, which is in my opinion a little bit of a mistake by me, because what would have happened, I would have still been able to most likely get to an Icy Wind against whatever they have in back here, in this case a Swampert, which would have been amazing for me, because getting a debuff onto the opponent while they cannot really swap out is just a great thing to have, but here we're gonna be able to use a shield on to our Vigoroth, securing that we don't get hit by an Earthquake here, and so I can go for our Body Slam whenever the opponent is done throwing their Hydro Cannons, as we will be able to still reach that one, knock them out with this uh, with the Body Slam here against the opponent, which is going to be amazing, as now the Skarmory has nowhere to go, and just need to go for one Rock Slide, and this game is over. So we're still going to be able to come back from this, but a lot to improve on the gameplay itself. Let's take a look at the next opponent here. We're going to have the Lantern in the lead. We're going to use, um, basically, the Deoxys here without going for the Psycho Boost. I saw this as well when I looked at, like, Yang's gameplay during his stream with his team, where I saw that, um, basically, yeah, they were not really going out of this matchup at all, because they, of course, want to avoid this matchup later on with the Polyrath. I saw them, I think, going for the Thunderbolt first here, but went for the Psycho Boost immediately, which maybe is a mistake, but I don't really think it is, because we still got a ton of damage onto the opponent, and we didn't really have to use Shield here. I can go for the full Farm none before they can go for anything, and so... We are going to have now the matchup that I don't really want to face, which is going to be the Medicham against our backline. And this is exactly where you kind of want to keep your Deoxys alive. And this is also like kind of unfortunate here, of course, that the opponent had something where we had to stay in with the Deoxys. But they're going to now swap out into the Mandibus, which is going to be okay for me. I can still go for the Icy Wind, and the Icy Wind is going to be super effective. And as they still decide here to use a shield, because this is going to allow us to now go for another Icy Wind. And most likely force a shield from the opponent as well, but also 
I should be able to just um, take an Aerial Ace now, which is pretty important for me. And as you're going to see as well, Aerial Ace is coming through, doing a ton of damage, but not enough. I can keep the energy, swap out onto the Aerial Ace, into my Vigoroth. The double debuffed Aerial Ace does not do any damage, but sadly the opponent can swap out a little bit faster than I expected. And I have to hope that they use a shield here. But they don't, which is a great play by the opponent, because now they barely can farm me down. Like, again, this is basically coming down to, like, one counter in terms of damage here, in order who wins or loses. And so, sadly, we're going to lose this much up here. But again, could have been something that we maybe would have been able to win. Next opponent, we're going to have a great lead here with Rigoros against our Deoxys, as we can just go for a Thunderbolt against the incoming um, yeah, Skarmory here. I'm staying in, I think, because my backline is still going to be okay against the, uh, yeah, opponent's Vigoroth anyway. I can let this move go through, and I maybe want to swap out afterwards into my, um, yeah, into my Polyrath, which is going to have a decent matchup here as well. Resisting the fast move, still have to use a shield, but I would have used a shield anyway with my Deoxys as well, so it does not really matter too much. I can go for the Icy Wind, which is already enough to knock them out, and so the opponent is going to be in a tough spot here. They are forced to go into their final Pokemon, which is going to be the Lantern, which is actually okay for us. I would not say that this is like the worst possible matchup that I could have ever imagined, but as we can see, of course, they can spark me down if they want to, but they don't even want to. They're going to go for a charge move first. Thanks for the surf damage coming through here. They're going to still have enough to get to a Thunderbolt now if they want to, and so I decide to use a shield here on a potential Thunderbolt, which does a little bit more damage than a Body Stamp from a Vigoroth. I will still get to a Body Stamp on my own here, which is going to be nice, and I can swap out now into my Deoxys. Going for the Psycho Boost before they can go for their own Body Slam is definitely the right call to do here. As they're gonna get the shield from the opponent, they can knock me out if they want to, but they don't even. They're just gonna go up to two Body Slams, which is fine for me. Psycho Boost is coming through. Gonna get them low, and I still think that I'm in a solid position here because I should be able to counter them all the way down. I can still take a move from the opponent here for sure, and I still should be able to reach my own Body Slam against the opponent's Lantern, and so we will be able to win this game, and we can move on to the next one. Next opponent, we're going to encounter the Charger Bug in the lead, which is going to be a call breaker for this team. This is a Pokemon that we cannot really face with this. Like, again, like this is going to be a Pokemon that's going to be very tricky to deal with. I actually made a video about the uh, Charger Bug lead. I never really encountered something that crazy good for me, but yeah, again, we're going to have a counter, like a really bad matchup basically with our. Polyrath as well as our Deoxys, so it's not going to be the greatest one. The opponent swaps out into a Digger Speed, so definitely going to be double weak to counter, I would imagine. So we're still going to have a fairly decent shot here at this game. I decide to use a shield here, I think, because that's going to allow me to uh, still get to another charge move, forcing the opponent to mostly go for their own charge move as well again, getting, re getting rid of some more energy from the opponent, as you're going to see here. And so I can get now some energy as well with my Deoxys, trying to get up again to a Psycho Boost against then the incoming Charger Bug. I'm forced to let this move go through here, to be fair, because I kind of have to still keep a shield for, yeah, eventually my Polyrath in the back. So I go for the Psycho Boost. If they use a shield, I'm okay with that. And they do use a shield, so I decide to swap out into my own Polyrath. They're going to be able to get to a discharge here, but I think I can counter them down. And so, as you can see, the opponent is swapping out. It's going to be a Greedent, and it's looking pretty decent for us. We can go for the Scald. The Scald is coming through. We're going to get the attack drop onto the opponent, and we will be able to just go for the full farm down against them. Trailblaze is not going to do enough damage, thanks to basically the debuff there. And we can still go for the Icy Wind, and this is going to get the knockout against the Charger Buck. Next opponent, let's see what they're going to run. We're going to be able to go ahead against a Skarmory. Again, a fairly decent lead. You can stay in here. You have Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is definitely the better one for this team, especially as you're also going to be a little bit weaker against something like an Azumarill. You kind of want to have the Thunderbolt onto your Deoxys to hit those Pokemon a little bit harder. The opponent is actually going to let this move go through, which I'm totally okay with. I decided to let the Sky Attack go through as well, as I can still go for the full farm down. I decided to go for a shield here, of course, because I need to keep my energy. It's going to be another Sky Attack, as the opponent is going to go down, we're going to be able to go up against another Deoxys, and that's going to be a little bit of an issue. And here's something where I also feel like that maybe the old variant is a little bit stronger than it was before, like here. I feel like the meta kind of shifted towards a meta where triple counter may be not be the greatest one here, as we're going to see as well. The opponent is going to have the Azumarill in the back. Of course, you know me, I don't get any kind of debuff, so Skull debuff doesn't really get it. But I know at least I'm going to be able to get a debuff with my Icy Wind, which is going to be guaranteed, so... Great to get it against a shield from the opponent as well. But yeah, I feel like the meta is going to be a little bit worse for this type of team in nowadays Season 17 meta compared to maybe Season 14 where it was a little bit more common. I don't think that this team is as 
insanely great anymore. I still think it's a solid team, as you can see as well, based on the gameplay, by the way. You see every single game that I play with this team, so like there's nothing called out or whatever, so like it's definitely everything that you kind of need to see here. But yeah, again, I feel like this team is definitely usable, like you can play it. It's not like the worst team ever or whatever, um, but it is definitely a little bit tricky, I feel like, this season compared to the last one, because they are more flying type Pokemon. They are going to be more um, Pokemon like Isidromal, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. I feel like they are like more Charger Buck as well. Gligar is a little bit more common nowadays as well. So like it's a little bit tricky to play those kind of teams nowadays. Especially like Gligar is going to be a really tricky one to deal with because your backline kind of really struggles with it. Uh, Cresselia, also a Pokemon that you struggle with quite a bit. So you're going to see yeah, quite a few Pokemon where this team is going to be a little bit problematic. We don't actually get the attack drop from the Rune Blast. I can't believe my eyes here. Usually we're going to get it immediately. But still, we're going to be able to go for some body stamps here. And then we can even get to, to the next one at the CMP tie against the the opponent's Moonblast, which is going to be cool for us, as I'm going to let this move go through. I don't feel it's really worth it to shield this move up, because, like, we have three Pokemon with counter. Like, they're not really that different anyway, so, like, it does not really matter if you really lose one, other than maybe Deoxys, because you have, like, basically the better matchup against Pokemon, like, um, yeah, the Medichamp, for example, which was the biggest issue, I guess. Getting rid of Medichamp is really decent for this team, so, like, there's definitely a pro for it, because Medichamp is way, way less common. But um, here, for example, look at this. Like, we're going to have now a minus four attack Deoxys against the Polyrath, which is absolutely wild. They're going to let this move go through as well. It does barely da any damage. But here, we're going to actually see something that is really interesting, which I didn't really think would actually happen like this. But take a look at the Polyrath matchup here. You're going to see against the Venus, so we can just go for another Icy Wind. And we even reach the next one as a CMP tie, which is kind of funny because now, thanks to this, we're going to be able to knock out the Venusaur with our Water type. And I feel like Icy Wind is a little bit too good on the Polyrath. I said this before already, but yeah, we will be able to win this game. Don't really think that the Icy Wind addition was really needed on the Polyrath, but yeah, it definitely is meta now. We're going to see here again a Polyrath in the lead, which is going to be a decent one for us. We're going to be able to go for a Psycho Boost eventually. I try to go for the Psycho Boost just before they reach the Scald, because I feel like this is the best way of playing this one. They can go for the Charge Move here. Decide to use a Shield. It's going to be the Scald as well. We don't... Get, oh, we actually get the debuff. Never mind. And we're going to see another issue for this team. The Trevenant. Trevenant is way, way better against this team now, because uh, Trevenant is going to be able to break the lead as well as the Polyrath. Back in the day, you were running the Obstagoon instead of the Polyrath in the back, so yeah, it's a little bit of a trickier one now for you. As we're gonna see here, we're gonna at least have a decent matchup with our Vigoroth. I did not actually think that the Seed Bomb would do that much damage, but we will be able to go for our Body Stamp, gonna get them low. It's not really the biggest issue anymore because we can just use a shield here, counter them down, get some energy advantage. But it's still going to be a tough one because they're now going to go up against the opponent's Polyrath. I can go for my Scald. This would knock them out if they let this move go through. Let's see if they do. They do not. They're going to use a Shield. But I can go for a Charge move. They actually got the Attack drop, which literally does not matter, which is kind of funny. And it's going to be a Skeletor in the back and they say to forfeit here. There was literally nothing that I could have done there, so yeah, it's going to be okay. We're going to have the Swampert in the lead, or we can just go for the Psycho Boost against the opponent, which is going to be fairly decent for the lead, at least. And I want to swap out eventually, maybe try to catch a Hydro Cannon onto our Polyrath, that would be kind of cool. I try to do this, it does not work out, and they decide to go onto the Toxapex. I just going to try to get some debuffs here with my Scald, but you know, my luck again with like those chances, we never really get them. It is absolutely wild, I don't really know how, but yeah, we're going to use a Shield here against the opponent because again the team is not really ideal against something like a Toxapex. Everything is going to like yeah every counter user is going to get resisted there. So we're gonna gonna get again no debuff from a scald which is totally okay for me. We will be able to take the sludge wave very nicely there of course. As the opponent swaps back out into their swamp herd I can take one move but they have two moves stored already so it's going to be a little bit tricky. We decide to catch the next move onto my Vigoroth and it's going to be even worse as we will be able to try to go for the farm down there but they're still gonna get to another charge move with just a few HP left, and so I'm forced to use a shield, and now I'm shields down, the opponent is going to have their Vigoroth in the back, and this game is basically over at this point, like, there's nothing I can do about it, um, I can still try to get a shield here, I can still go for another charge move, but they just over farm by quite a bit, they can go for a body slam against our Deoxys, and yeah, they still have a shield left here, so... 
unless the opponent decides to um, swap out into the Toxa packs, there's not a lot that I can do about it, and they don't do it really here. So I can go for my Psycho Boost, hope that they swap out now. They do not, and so we're going to lose this game. But yeah, this is going to be it for this video. I think this team is okay. I don't think it's the greatest ever. I think it's playable. I think it's definitely playable. But there are a lot of Pokemon that are a little bit tricky to play with this team. Still, I think that the Deoxys lead is a really decent one, so maybe I take a look at a different team around it. But yeah, this is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.